after studying this module we shall be able to know the concept of political risk learn about different forms of political risk assess the political risk understand the management of political risk every mnc that wants to invest in the host country needs to assess the political risk of that country if such risk is higher it may not invest in that country despite larger cash flows political risk can be defined as sudden and unanticipated change in the political setup or scenario of the host country that leads to changes in the functioning return and corporate performance of the mnc political risk refers to variability in investment return due to change in political setup it also results in fear of discontinuation of operation of the mnc's in the host country for example if rightist party comes to power in the host country it encourages foreign investors to invest in host country because rightists follow pro corporate and liberal foreign policy on the other hand if left government is formed it will discourage the investors to invest in the host country because leftists always prefer nationalization such a move will have negative impact on the mnc's operation political risk can be further classified as micro and macro political risk micro political risk affects a particular industry or firm in the host country arises on account of conflict of interest between the bona fide objectives of the host government whereas macro political affects all the foreign firms operating in the country forms of political risk expropriation and confiscation the act of seizing privately owned property by the government and in return government also pays a compensation amount to the outgoing firm the purpose is nationalization and public welfare confiscation is similar to expropriation but in this government doesn't pay any compensation the process of compensation is very lengthy and cumbersome a firm wants the present value of the future cash flows losses whereas the government prefers to give historical value which is lower than the present value expropriation happens due to political turmoil or change in political ideology currency in convertibility this is the financial form of political risk when a host country imposes restriction on exchange of its currency in to another currency and prohibits the foreign investors from taking out its money so the currency becomes inconvertible the reason could be deficit in balance of payment foreign exchange crisis the government regulates the exchange of currency to bring back things to normal risk from ethnic civil strife and terrorism political risk arises due to war civil strife riots racial and ethnic violence For instance in 2002 Gujarat after the riots investor sentiments were worsened and it took a lot of time to bring back confidence of foreign investor in Gujarat terrorism and fascist forces also contributes to political risk for example foreign investors are not willing to invest in Pakistan because of rising terrorism credit risk and breach of contract 
The MNCs operating internationally are exposed to credit risk. Credit risk arises when a host country is unable to pay its debt. This creates doubt in the mind of foreign investor and they decide not to invest in such a country. For example, when Mexico refused to honor the debt because of its inability to pay, this was due to economic reason. Sometimes there could be a political reason behind the default. For example, when Khomeini came to power in Iran, it refused to pay on the ground that loan was signed during Shah regime, conflict of interest. The political risk arises due to difference in the interest of host government and the MNCs. The former prefers welfare of the economy while latter wants to maximize corporate profit. The conflict of interest arises due to differences in the policy of government and MNC's policies. Sometimes MNC's adopt transfer pricing policy in such a way that causes tax revenue loss to the host country. Conflict of interest also arises due to threat to national security as no country wants to jeopardize its national security. Corruption Transparency International, a non-governmental organization, defines corruption as abuse of public office or inappropriate use of public power for personal profit. In many nations, corruption has become the mode of entry which is used by the foreign companies. Further, red tapeism also contributes to corruption. Assessing the political risk, qualitative approach. Qualitative approach involves use of non-numerical information, interpersonal contacts and active involvement of population. MNCs hire people who are well aware with the political structure of the host country. They provide contextual information to the MNCs about the host country. They are the people within the public sectors, journalists and employee of foreign offices of government of the host country. To analyze the political situation in more reliable way, the company also sends a team of experts for on the spot study of political situation. Qualitative methods are intended for exploring issues. It uses more informal approach to understand the difference and provide more holistic approach. It gives in-depth picture of the specific issue and reveal more details how people perceive the situation and problem. The questions are generally open-ended and findings are analyzed. Quantitative approach Institutional investor a biannual country credit rating is published by institutional investor on the basis of information provided by leading international banks. The bank rates each nation on a 0 to 100 point scale except home country. The scale depicts the chance of default. 100 points rating represent least chance of default. Economist Intelligence Unit Economist Intelligence Unit EIU is a sister company to The Economist. It uses four types of risk. Political risk that is 22% of the weightage. Economic political risk 28%. Economic structure risk 
27% and liquidity risk 23%. The political risk is categorized into political stability which includes war, civil unrest, political transfer and international disputes and political effectiveness which includes transparency in system, decisive government and good governance. Economic policy emphasizes on monetary policy, exchange rate regime and trade laws. Economic structure comprises of global environment, debt growth, financial structure and current account balance. Liquidity risk considers the balance between country's assets and liabilities. If the final score is 0, then there is no risk and if it is 100, then risk is on higher side, Euro money. Here one should not confuse with Euro money which is a currency. Euro money is a magazine which gives an overall score of countries risk based on 9 variables that has different wage age. The political risk and economic performance are most important indicators of the euro money each carries a weightage of 25%. PRS groups ICRG rating system. PRG publish a monthly guide known as International Country Risk Guide ICRG besides Political Risk Yearbook. It is providing rating since 1980 and uses 22 variables. It classifies risk into political, financial and economic component. Political risk has 12 subcomponents and financial and economic risk has 5 component subcomponent each. We shall now focus on managing political risk. It is further categorized into management prior to investment management following nationalization. Incorporating risk in capital budgeting. The political risk is included in the capital budgeting process. When political risk is included in the discount rate rises and it affects the cash flows in the earlier year years negatively. The flow of investment from parent company to subsidiary company can be reduced and the remaining gap can be filled through local borrowing. Though there is a possibility that firm may not able to get cheap finance but risk is reduced. There is a trade off between low political risk and high cost of finance. Negotiation with host government and planned divestment. The investing company bargains and negotiates with host government on various issues to avoid any uncertainty arising out of host government decision and hence risk is reduced. The company decides well in advance that it will reduce its timely stake and control in the investment and transfer the control to local player to reduce the risk of expropriation. The planned divestment is also a part of negotiation with the host government. Insurance of risk. The investing company may go for insurance to protect itself from the repercussions of political risk. It can either take insurance from government companies or from finance companies, that from the private one. The insurance programs can either be bilateral or multilateral in nature. At bilateral level, there are two parties, whereas at multilateral level, it is MIGA, Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency. A sister unit of World Bank set up in 1988 with the objective to ensure eligible investment project against transfer restriction, civil disturbances, 
and expropriation etc. MIGA also provide technical assistance to the firm in project related work, management following nationalization, negotiations. There are various issues on which bilateral talks are required between investing company and host country's government. On few issues, investing company may agree with host government and sacrifice a major portion of control in order to appease host country. Economic and political pressure. When negotiation fails to work out, then MNC puts pressure on host government in an economic and political terms. For example, imposition of embargo on trade led to sever in relation of foreign firm and host country. Resorting to these measures seems dangerous. Firms should think twice before taking such measures. Arbitration. Arbitration is a technique of dispute settlement outside the court. The third party review the evidence and pronounces a decision which can be bounding on both the parties and enforceable in the court. Further, arbitration can be binding and non-binding. With arbitration, foreign firm ask for compensation from the host government through the involvement of mediator. But there are certain cases in which host government fails to accept the judgment. Legal action. The MNCs may go to international court for justice if they seem dissatisfied with the host country's court judgment. There are certain cases when investing company decided to approach international law. For example, when in 1959, Cuban government expropriated property and failed to pay compensation to the US firm. International Settle Center for the Settlement of Investment Disputes, which is ICSID, a sister unit of World Bank, also helps the MNCs to settle their claim against the host nation. Managing Risk During the Lifetime Concession Agreement and Joint Venture Concession Agreement is an agreement between the company and the government that provides a company to privilege to operate in a specific business with in government jurisdiction. Joint Venture is an agreement in which two parties come together and contribute the resource to accomplish a specific task. For example, when Starbucks decided to enter the Italian market, it selected joint venture as a mode of entry. There were two reasons behind such decision. One is that FDI is single brand, is easily permissible and second, Starbucks is not fully aware of Indian market. Tata has given it a back end support in supply chain management. Political support. The support of the local government is very important to run the operation smoothly without any political glitch. Further, there is a need to maintain cordial relation and understanding with the local government so that government may introduce favorable policies which can help the corporate to grow. Anticipatory planning. Every organization faces some big challenges in the changing business environment. If any firm is not dynamic and anticipatory, it may not able to function properly. And that is the biggest threat for a firm. There is a need to anticipate from time to time. Anticipatory planning provides new opportunities and turn potential threats into opportunities. Firstly, there is a need to identify certain key issues such as strike, civil disturbances and political turmoil. 
and then there is a need to design an appropriate strategy to counter such situation. Anticipatory planning doesn't guarantee 100 percent success, but it minimizes the maximum quantum of risk. We shall now recapitulate what we have learned so far. In the changing business environment, every company operating in the host country or wants to start its operation in the host country needs to access the political risk. Political risk is the risk that arises due to change in the political scenario that affects the performance of firm. It refers to variability in return due to change in political setup. It arises on account of expropriation which is as seizure of private property by the government for the purpose of nationalization and in return government pays central compensation amount to firm. Confiscation is same as expropriation but only difference is there confiscation no compensation is paid. Corruption is defined as use of official power for private gains and conflict of interest arises due to difference in objectives of the host country, government and MNCs. Government want higher tax whereas MNCs want concession and investment friendly environment. Credit risk implies chance of default by the nation or inability to pay its debt. Country with higher credit risk is not preferred by foreign company. Inconvertibility is regulation by the host government on free movement of currency that prevents the foreign firm to transfer the cash flows to the home country. Civil strife and disturbances, terrorism creates negativity in the mind of foreign firm and it may decide to avoid investment. Therefore, there is a need to assess it and manage it. There are qualitative as well as quantitative techniques can be used to assess the political risk. Qualitative technique uses qualitative data, non-numeric methods and interpersonal contracts to assess the political risk. On the other hand, quantitative approach uses quantitative information, numeric data and analysis done by the various agencies to assess the political risk. Institutional investor publishes biannual credit risk rating of country on the basis of information given by leading international banks. Economist Intelligence Unit EIU uses four types of risk with different weight ages to evaluate political risk of a country, political risk that is 22 percent of the weight age, economic political risk 28 percent, economic structure risk 27 percent and liquidity risk 23 percent. Euro money is magazine that provides information of political risk of a country. PRS groups ICRG rating system classifies risk into political risk, economic risk and financial risk. Political risk has 12 sub components, economic and financial risk has 5 components each. After assess the political risk there is a need to manage it. A firm can manage political risk prior to investment by incorporating political risk in capital budgeting, negotiation with the host government on certain issues and through insurance of risk. The MNCs can manage the political risk 
following nationalization through negotiation, economic and political pressure, it may go arbitration and legal action against the host country's government. It can also manage the risk during its lifetime by getting the support of local government and entering the host country through alliance the domestic firm and concession agreement with the government. Further, it should not ignore the anti-statutory planning to manage the political risk. Bilateral investment treaty to avoid political risks associated with sovereign debt 